Hello and welcome to another TrackMan tutorial video. And today we're going to go over the general setup for putting outdoors while using the TrackMan Go app on your iPad. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is go into the settings app on your iPad and make sure that you're connected to your TrackMan's Wi-Fi network. You can then get back to the home screen and open up the TrackMan Go app. Once the app opens, choose the putting tile on the right side of the screen and assuming your iPad is successfully connected to your TrackMan, you should see the serial number pop up and automatically connect and advance to the target image screen. Here we can calibrate the TrackMan by tapping with our finger and dragging the crosshairs to wherever we plan on putting to. Here I chose the bottom of the pin which is in the cup. In addition, it's important to point out that there are two separate boxes for righties and lefties to putt from. I've also placed a tee in the ground as a physical marker, that way I don't drift away and putt from outside of the box. Next we'll be taken to a page where we can choose a player, and finally start the session. One thing I always like to do is to enable the shot list view on the left side of the screen. This gives us a separate window to view our data as putts come through. And as you may have noticed already, the main view of data we have selected currently is the data tile view. Now as we hit a putt, it's important to point out that the duration of time needed for the data to appear in the app strictly depends on how long of a putt we're hitting considering the TrackMan is tracking the ball until it stops rolling. Now let's hit a couple more and speed it up just for viewing purposes. Now the next view we can choose in the top center of the screen is the swing video view. In order to get videos to come through, we have to turn on the TrackMan camera. To do so, click the video camera icon on the top right and enable the TrackMan camera. Then tap on the left side of the screen to minimize that window. You may also want to set the shot list view on the left side of the screen to show data tiles. That way we can see data as our swing videos roll through. Now let's go ahead and hit a couple putts. And at any point, once the swing videos load into the app, you can press the play button in the bottom left corner to view them. Now the next option we have as far as viewing the data is the club view. This gives us an overhead and side view of the club head as it came through impact. The next view offered in the app is the skid and roll. This graphic shows the relationship between how much the ball skidded or hopped and rolled in the last putt that you hit. As you can see, once we hit a new putt, the graphic reloads and shows us all the data for the next putt that we hit. Moving on to the next view in the top center of the screen is the overhead dispersion chart. This graphic gives us key information like the amount of break the putt had, the entry speed distance, and the launch direction. And last but not least, the final view is the table view, where we can see a clear outline of all the putt data that we've hit so far and any groups that you may or may not have grouped your data into. Up to this point, we've only hit one putter, therefore we only have one group of data. So let's go back and add a tag and test out a new putter. In order to do so, go back and hit the tags button in the top left corner. Then you can either choose from existing tags or enter a custom one and press done once you're finished. Now that we have a new tag, let's go ahead and hit a couple more putts with that new putter. And now that we've introduced that second putter or group, we can simplify our view of the shot list on the left hand side of the screen by enabling the groups filter. Now at this point, since we've tested both the putters we wanted to try out today, we can go ahead and go back to the home screen and end our session. You can click the home button in the top left corner of the screen. And just like in shot analysis, here we have the option to either resume that session that we just ended or we can start a new session which will truly end that last session and save all of its data to shot history in the top left. You can simply start a new session and then immediately back out of it. That way you can access your shot history in the top left hand corner of the home screen and access that last session's data. 
I always find it most useful to navigate to the table view. Here you can delete any shots that may have negatively affected a group's average data. You can do so by holding your finger down on a specific shot and choosing delete. In addition, if you wanted to share this data in the form of a report, you can hit the share button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once the window pops up, you'll need to click share. Next, we'll get a pop-up that indicates that our iPad is offline. This is because it's currently connected to the TrackMan's Wi-Fi network, which does not provide any internet access. In addition, you can check to see whether a report has been sent or not by going to the settings menu in the top right hand corner of the home screen, and then the upload tab. Here you'll see the report that we just tried to send sitting idly, waiting for the iPad to be connected to the internet. In order to get this report sent, you can back out of the app completely and go back into your settings app. Go into Wi-Fi settings and connect to a network that actually has internet access. In this case, I'll be using a hotspot from my mobile phone. Once I've connected successfully to my mobile hotspot, then I can go back into the TMGO app and see that that report is now sending. And finally, the green cloud icon next to the report indicates that it has been sent successfully. And that concludes our putting tutorial with the TM Go app on the iPad. As always, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to your sales rep, watch some of our other tutorial videos, or reach out to our support line. Thanks.